Okay, cool. So um, let's try this mechanism. Okay, so this is going to be um, essentially uh, attacking the carbonyl carbon with some sort of nucleophile. Okay. Um, what we see here is that we've got a very strong acid. HCl is a very strong acid, right? You would expect that if we got a strong acid and a base, right, that it's going to push the equilibrium that way, right? That's what we learned or should have learned by the end of last test, right? That's what was one of those questions. But if we look at the equilibrium arrows, they're going this way. Why is that? That's really weird, right? Okay. So let's talk about it. It's this relationship between the leading group and the nucleophile, okay? So what we find is, well, let's just draw the mechanism out first. Okay. So, of course, strong acid is going to be deprotonated. So when we do that, we put a positive, full positive charge on that oxygen, right? So you could imagine a resonance structure, right, that would alleviate that positive charge, okay, on that oxygen. But the positive charge would now be on that carbon. Okay. Right? So that, this makes it a super duper electrophile. Okay? This thing needs to be attacked. Okay? Because the oxygen's happy. Right? The oxygen likes to have two pairs of electrons and two bonds. Okay? So this carbon's like, no way. I don't like this. Okay? So the chlorine is still there. Or the chloride ion. <coughs> and it sees that and it attacks. That's all well and good, right? That makes sense. And we get the product that we're supposed to get. Okay? But now, we've got to ask ourselves, okay? Is chlorine a good leaving group? Yes, it's a good leaving group, okay? It's very stable on its own, okay? And so, what'll happen is because you've got these electrons here that are on that alpha carbon, right? What you'll have is what we call essentially an alpha, well, elimination of that chlorine. We're going to eliminate that chlorine like that, and then just do that reaction back, okay? So what this is actually saying is which one is more stable, right? This one over here is more stable, okay? And why is that? It's because of the, the relative nature of the chloride ion, okay? And what we find is chloride ion has two characteristics. It can be a nucleophile and it can be a leaving group. So, is it a good leaving group? Yes, we know it's a good leaving group. Why? Because it's big, you know, it likes to have that negative charge, so it's a good leaving group. Is it a good nucleophile? Not really, okay? It doesn't mind having that negative charge, okay? So, if, so we'll say good over here. So it's not very good at being a nucleophile, but it's very good at being a leaving group, so it's going to set the equilibrium that way, okay? If you found something that was opposite, right? If I was um, good at being a nucleophile, but bad at being a leaving group, right? Our equilibrium would be the other way. Is that okay with everybody? Are there any questions about that? If there's not, then we can turn off the video. 